Hey there, I am. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the stream here. I hope your day's going pretty well. Mine's been a little busy this morning. Um, I ran a couple errands this morning, cut my grass, um, really doing stuff like that. Um, just trying to get uh, some errands out of the way before I went on stream. My legs are a little sore right now, but I uh, really don't need them to pile the mech. So we're back in Mech Warrior 5 today. Um, hopefully, uh, I, I was kind of waiting for the game to load. It just took it a minute for it to come up here. So let me go ahead and switch over to it. There it is. Got the game paused here. So let me go ahead and just hit resume here. Standing right in front of one of the blackjacks here. So we just need to go uh, see what else we can uh, get into today. If you remember from last time, we, <coughs> excuse me. If you remember from last time, uh, we had just completed um, our the next story mission. So it would have been. Um, taking down the governor uh, in his trebuchet. We took him down pretty quick, actually. Um, this one looks kind of interesting. It's called Collateral Damage. Um, this is the one we were talking about. So we actually had the one we were working with Merrick on. Uh, this is actually going to go attack a Liao um, supply facility. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. So we got to uh, travel to Capola. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's not that far of a travel from here. We'll just jump over there. I was trying to get my phone to work here. For some reason, it did not like me today. So I always monitor my stream from my phone, uh, just to make sure if anything does come up, uh, either connection-wise or something like that, you know, I can kind of figure out what's going on. For some reason, I am really dark today. The camera is. I don't know what... We'll see. Maybe that will... Hmm. I don't know. Um, that's just kind of odd. So now it will not connect to the Wi-Fi at all, which is not great. Even though I'm literally within arm's reach of the the uh, the router, not ideal. There it goes. I think. I'm gonna let it sit there for a second. If it comes back, great. If not, I'll have to play with it here in just a moment. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's playing now. All right, so let's take a look before we head on to the mission here. Let's look at this black market here. See what they got. Ooh, they have a hunchback, and that's the big hunchback too. We also have an urban mech if we want to try and get one of those. We all know how well those things work. A whole lot. Of timeout. So th this uh, hunchback actually, or hunchback has an AC-20 on it. Why in the world would you ever put an AC-20 on it on a on a, on a, uh, on a urban mech? That is, I mean, it's hilarious. Don't be wrong, but it, it's just you know, I don't know. It's just kind of odd to me. That one's the SRM6 version of that. This is kind of tempting, though, because, uh, you know, an AC-20 would be a, you know, a good uh, a good arsenal. I know it's only a 45-ton, or a 50-ton mech, so it would be an upgrade for one of the Blackjacks. Probably actually getting rid of one of the uh, ones with the AC-2s on it, probably. Because, I mean, the AC-20 would be more than beneficial to make up that. That is rather tempting, though. I, I uh, hmm. We don't quite have the funds for it, but if we sold, let's go look here. If we sold something like the Javelin, though, we would more than have enough for it. You know what? Let's run the mission first and see what we have here. Ooh, it's a difficulty 40 mission. That's, uh, that's quite a bit more than I was expecting. Because, let's see, hold on. Hmm. You know what? I think what we're going to do... They only brought up 180 tons, though, so it's not really going to matter. So, uh, let's get some damage coverage, because I know we'll need some of that. Uh, let's get some more salvage shares, and we'll get some sea bills. Uh, yeah, I think that'll work. I'll accept that. And with this lance, we actually are over tonnage. 
I don't know if I take that guy in there. It's 175 health. Okay. But I think your battle are still hurt. I guess I didn't repair them from last time. So let me just go ahead and repair these guys. Shadowhawk's still in one piece. That's a miracle and a half. So let's go ahead and wait this out. There we go. We'll go back to battle mechs. Or, sorry, contracts. And everything's repaired. Everybody's healthy. Jenner's not showing up for some reason. That's kind of odd. But I guess if they're only going to let us drop 180 tons, we really don't need much more. We're just ready up there. I was thinking about if we sold the Javelin, we could actually probably just go ahead and buy that Hunchback. Um, and then replace one of the Blackjacks with it. But uh, since we're already over tonnage, it was kind of kind of silly. I, we would have actually hit our 180 tons that we could have brought like perfectly. But... Um, just, uh, I don't think that uh, would have been a good move on our point, or on, on our part. So, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, get this one going. I if it's still there, I might consider getting in afterwards because we uh, we were close on money. We're getting about eight hundred grand for this one. Which will pretty much pay for the mech repairs that we just had to do. If we get anything else, if we can get some salvage that is pretty good, we might be able to sell that to get the hunchback. Um, then we might just get rid of the javelin or something like that. Because, um, I mean, we can run it with this and have 180 tons and be okay. So, uh, we'll uh, we'll see when uh, that time comes, even if it's still there. I, I could be wrong, it might not be there anymore after we uh, get back. It's a new planet, so it's taking a little bit of time to load, but, uh, oh well. Mm. Back to drinking tea, tea again today. My half and half, uh, half sweet tea, half lemonade. Arnold Palmer, which is great. Especially after cutting grass for an hour and a half. Let's not talk about that anymore. Let's actually get to some mech fighting. Can you guys actually hear the game? My other question. Hold on. Let me pause this. Well, if I... Yeah, so there's a little bit... I can actually see it on here. I think last episode, I could just barely hear what... Uh, or barely see it at all. So I think this is always going to be a little bit better for you guys. So you guys can actually hear what's going on. I'm starting to remember this mission. I remember last time. I didn't have a fun time with this one. So we'll see how this one goes. We'll see if we can actually get it done. Now, fair enough, last time I didn't have... I only had three mechs with me last time. So maybe having a fourth mech might actually be uh, worth it. We'll see. Do, 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 do. I want this one long walk out so we can have a nice straw out here in the forest before uh, we actually get to. Uh, we actually get to the uh, combat area. Which, if I'm not mistaken, how they design these is that, like, one planet is, like, they pretty much share maps, but the maps are so big, they just section it off. And so, it's typically every, like, every, like, planet like this is the same, but uh, you just don't go to the same sections twice in a row. Alright, that's where we're headed. Oh, 
let's see how resistant these buildings really are. Oh, these look expensive here. Walking through these buildings actually is not the worst way to kill them either. Though we are flirting with the uh, uh, shutdown right now, which is not great. We just attack, attack the main building here. Really can't walk through this one though, unfortunately. The control panel looks nice though. Go. I think. My, uh, my AC-10 causes the least amount of heat, so. I'm trying to use that as much as I can, but, uh, you know. Or just walking through buildings. That does help, too. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, let's get out of here, then. We need to get out of here as soon as we can. Thankfully, it's not too far. Might need to put a few more limbs on the uh, the mechs when we get back, but that shouldn't be too much of a too big of a deal. This is one of the things I do kind of wish I had a light mech so we can get out of here faster. But I knew. But I knew if I had a lighter mech that it wouldn't, you know, these missions wouldn't be as easy as they are. Yeah, difficulty 40, not bad. Um, you know, we, we did lose a couple things, you know, probably some weapons or something like that. But, uh, uh, you know, still not the worst thing in the world. I've been a few issues with my cell phone, which is kind of odd. So I'm having to monitor the stream a little bit differently today. Yeah, you can see our blackjack's taking a little bit of a beating. We can get a locust. Is that what it is? Yeah. You know what? Why don't we? I mean, let's see here. Value-wise, the other thing we can get is an AT AC5, which is a quarter million. But there is no way we can get something like that. Um... That so we just got some reputation and some C bills, nothing too crazy there. Let's go take a look at our mechs now. Uh, so we got a blackjack. Let's see what happens. Just some armor on this one. 
That's all good. The Centurion with just some armor. The Jenner's is going to have to get, be a little more repaired. Same with this guy. So let's go ahead and see what they blew off here. I think we lost two medium lasers, which honestly is not the worst thing in the world, but uh, I guess so. I think that's, that's right tonnage there. I think we lost probably two more lasers over here. No, we lost an AT2 and a laser. Ooh. I don't know if I have a, uh, I have a medium laser to replace, um, but they blew off both AC twos. Number one, I don't know how they did that. First off, but uh, that's not ideal. Let's start the work here. We we'll want to go off somewhere and try to find. I don't probably think that um, the hunchback's cheaper now. That was almost four million dollars. Now it's just under three. See if they have any AC twos here. They do. They have one. Um, I'll save that for now because we're, we're in technically layout territory. Um, since they don't really like us, um, they will not sell us the best stuff. We we don't get as much for these guys. But let's sell that back to them because technically we stole it from them. I mean. <sighs> I am really tempted on this one because these uh, hunchbacks are kind of known for their short or their close quarters combat thing. I mean, three or two or two small or two medium lasers, a small laser, and the AC twenty. The AC twenty is what I'm looking for, and we have one to replace them with, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look here. Uh, yes, we do have an AC twenty burst fire we can put into there that we can easily slot in there and have no problem. All right, I did say we were going to bring out the big guns, and I think that's, uh, can't really get much bigger of a gun than that, so. But, let's head over to, I'm thinking maybe Holleron, because that's technically back in, um, Davion spa space. And since we can go there, we can actually get some uh, faster repairs that way. Um, we can get some AC2s, hopefully, that are a little cheaper. Um, get a little bit better pricing out of them, too. So, we'll see. Alright. Um, so, Battle Max. Let's get these guys. Hopefully, they're already being repaired. So, let's edit this one. Uh, it's got some heat sinks missing as well, so we can replace those. Take out that AC-20 and replace the one we have. Why is it losing so... Oh, because we haven't hit repair all. There we go. Alrighty, so... Let's also go to the market here and, and sell some stuff that we don't really need. Uh, well, AC-10 we could use... Oh, sorry, this is inventory. Uh, AC-5s, we, we will, because they're uh, on the uh, Shadowhawk. Uh, the LRM-10s, we can sell these. We are running a little low on funds, but uh, that's why you keep a lot of this stuff with you. And so you can just sell it off if you don't need it. And we're already back up to 1.4 million, so a little bit happier with that. Um, just kind of waiting for mechs to be repaired now. Um, let's see here. Do they have anything mech, special mech-wise? They have a hunchback over here, but they actually want a lot less for it. And I think we just got taken, technically. Oh, no, it's ours. Huh. Never mind. Ooh, hold on. They have a rifleman here. Now, I won't be getting this one, uh, because it is $3.2 billion. But this actually is a 60-ton heavy mech. Um, and that's actually a pretty decent heavy mech. I actually have that on my other game. Uh, it's two AC-5s and four medium lasers is what I usually put on it, and some more heat sinks. It's a decent mech for 60 tons, and uh, it's got some good firepower, too. Um, and it's got a pretty good armor capacity, too, so that might be one we want to look at a little later. Um, uh, so, uh, we'll just kind of, you know, keep thinking about that. I'm kind of interesting. I think my phone's acting up. Let me reset that while uh, 
if we travel to the next place, we'll have to go somewhere else to uh, uh, to do some missions. There is a hero mech on the market there, which not really what I'm looking for. There's some conflict zones here. But they're in the Al territory, and I'm actually more hoping to go up here. Demolition contracts, we've got two raid contracts there. Let's go to Angle first and see what uh, missions they have there. Because uh, I'm hoping to have some more Davion missions, we can try to get a little more money out of them and get some more reputation uh, from them as well, so. Uh, that's the traitor. Cool, this is a, this is a, uh, a Davion contract, that's what I was hoping for. Two. There we go, let's see if maybe I can get this to work now. All right, so what kind of stuff do we want from there? We can get, uh, let's max out our salvage shares and split the rest of it between sea bills and, um, uh, between sea bills and um, damage coverage. And then we can have some salvage shares as well. So. It's only 175 tons, so we'll have to, we actually are at the limit now, so that's pretty good. The problem is, we didn't get any AC-2s. So, do we wait and do something like this? We can. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to wait. And then go to Battle Max because I realized something else about this hunchback. It is not painted correctly. I know it doesn't seem like uh, a big, th oop, big thing to uh, to you, but I mean, if we're gonna all look like a uh, a well organized company, everything should be painted like our colors are. Uh, back plates. Secondary is gonna be. There, because I'm like, it's not applying for some reason. There we go. That looks better. There we go. And then go to contracts. I think we'll be doing better now. I mean, still have the three medium max and one light. Um, until we can find uh, some more AC2s for that uh, blackjack. I guess what we could also do is, I don't think we can put an AC5, so never mind. I was like, usually we can put an AC5 on there. So let me double check. If I can, I will switch, um, I will switch these over to um, AC, uh, like one AC5. But if I'm not mistaken, in this game, an AC5 is a, oh, inventory. Um, an AC-5 is a medium slot, and this is only a small one. So, yeah, only can put an AC-2 there. So, yeah, well, I have to keep that one just kind of on the back burner for right now. So, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit here. Um, well, let's keep it on the back burner for now. We'll kind of have it in storage just in case something does come up and we need it. Um, but I think without the AC-2s, I mean, it's not still not a bad mech without them, but I think I'd rather have this a little, that little extra firepower that they do bring to the table. Ooh, it's a manticore. Let's uh, take that guy out first and foremost. Those manticores do not mess around. Uh, PPC LRM10. Oh, there's a couple other things on it. So yeah, they're they're pretty uh, pretty nasty little tanks. All right, so here we go.
I'm not in a singing mood today, guys, so don't worry. I won't uh, serenade you with the stupid songs I was singing last time. Uh, so we've got a mech over here. It's just a Jenner. So let's, uh, let's get that guy taken care of. While I run at the base. And, ooh, there's a medium. That's Kata. Not the worst one in the world, but... Uh, And these officers look really nice. It's a shame that uh, we have to take them down. But that's what they're paying us to do, so that's what we're going to do. Some great visuals out the uh, cockpit today. Mission's done. Let's just get out of here now. Wait for the, the other block is actually taking quite a bit of hits. I don't know why though, but uh, let's just get out of here and hopefully they uh, they'll quickly follow suit. Be okay. Great showing, Commander. Our employers will be pleased. All right. Cool. Mission done. It's a pretty quick one. Just a kind of a smash or a smash and grab, a smash and go. Seems like the hunchback was doing okay. I don't know if it was quite, uh, quite, um, quite as armor as I thought it would be. Um, I might, I might take that small laser off and add a little bit more armor to it. It's only, I know it's only half a ton, but you know, half a ton is ar you know, who wouldn't want you know half a ton more armor around them? So, you know, I'll, uh, you know, I'll keep an eye on it and make sure. But um, I don't think it's too awful bad. But uh, let's see here. We could get a Jenner. Jenner's not bad. Uh, let's see, though, weapon-wise, what we could get. We do need some medium lasers because we are running a little low on them. We couldn't actually get four of those, and we'll get the Jenner. How not? Why not? Ooh, actually, one of our guys just got injured. Uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, hmm. This is why you want to have backup pilots, by the way, uh, if you guys get injured. Uh, so yeah, something happened here, so we're going to see what we got. Repair all. We did lose a small laser there. Well, I didn't know that uh, these had two small lasers on them. We can buy them from the shop here, though. Inventory. Small. Small. They're not the best in the world, but uh, now that's probably why. And okay, uh, we'll start. Repair it all. It's not missing anything else, so let's go ahead and start it there. Centurion didn't take any losses, like weapon-wise. Hunchback, I'm gonna take a look here in a second, see what's going on with them. Cause something happened here. I think maybe the pilot just got hit in the head, maybe. 
we lost the medium laser. Uh, so let's repair all. And we lost the AC-20 ammo. We might need to go to the market to look for that. Uh, let's see. Heat sink we're okay with. Let's take off that small laser. And put a medium laser on there. I do want to add half a ton of armor, but I can't really do that until we uh, we get the uh, ammo for it. So, I don't think they had any here. I, know I could be wrong. Come look at me. Alright, so we're going to have to fly. We have to fly somewhere else anyways. So let's head back to that industrial area. Let's go to the closest one. Um, and then I'll have the uh, hunchback refitted while we're here, so it's a lot, you know, it doesn't cost us as much. Uh, so it'll be a little bit easier that way. And then, um, I think what else we need to do? Uh, market. Ooh, they have a trebuchet here. Now, trebuchets, I don't think that's right, but uh, a trebuchet is actually like your first missile boat. It actually can carry two LRM-15s and three medium lasers. So they're pretty good for a, what, a 50-ton mech. So that becomes kind of your first missile boat. Uh, but what I'm here for, and why we just all of a sudden selected the uh, AC-10 burst fire, AC-20 ammo is what I'm here for. I'll just take all four of them. It's going to cost me 84 grand, but... I'm probably going to use all of it, uh, to be honest with you. Let's see here. In my inventory, though, I can probably go ahead and sell some stuff. Let's see what we got here. I sell this machine gun. I do want to get rid of that mech, that, gener we, that extra gener we have. I think we don't really need it. And what's the difference between ours and theirs? Well, ours is completely repaired, and theirs is, you know, trash. Also, I think the paint scheme is on ours, yeah. So, this is the one. Let me sell that one. Get some money back. It's a uh, good amount of money. We're back up to $3.5 million. Oh, that's not what I... Uh, hold on. Market. Oh, look at that. They get a dinner for sale now. I oh, wonder why. That's 4.4. I don't really quite want that. It's also a Liao place, so... Don't really want to do too much here uh, unless I have to. Um, this is the black hat that needs the. All right, that's the one, the one we worked on. I was also looking to see if they have a um, AC2 on the market. They do. They actually have a couple of them. Uh, so let's do that. We'll get the other one. You're right. It, technically, we really don't need this one right this second. Uh, but you never know when, when we might need something like this. And it's only going to cost us two days and $2,000. So why not get this one fixed and ready? So if something does come up that we need another mech, I mean, it's a good 45-ton mech we can just throw in there. Uh, so let's do something like that. Get rid of the ammo here. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the small laser and then max the armor. I'm losing, th you know, three power-wise, but, I mean, this thing, uh, I think, will kind of really, you know, is what we're looking for on the battlefield. I'm also thinking, since we were losing a small thing there, our cooling's at 1.3, which I mean, think it means it, it, re it uh, reduces 1.3 heat a second. How much does this generate in heat? Uh, that didn't say. Oh, heat, 2.25. That's not great. Um, how much is this during heat? 4.2. I was thinking about removing a, heat, a single heat sink and um, putting in some more armor, another ton of armor, uh, just to help with a little bit more survivability. I mean, if you look here, these are maxed, maxed out here, maxed, almost maxed in the head, uh, maxed out here, maxed out here. So, I mean, really, they're pretty much already maxed out. So. I'm not that concerned with, you know, I had another half ton, and it was pretty uh, pretty well armored then, so I'm okay with that. Let's head back to the star map here, and let's see maybe where we can go next. This doesn't look like a bad place to go. Uh, let's see here. We got a black market available, demolition and raid contracts. 
It's actually at the, all right. I think we'll go here, kind of work our way down this way. So if you remember our bill from like the beginning of the game was only like 50 grand for our first, you know, two or three mechs. It is now up to, I think it was like, I think we just paid 250,000 for all of our mechs and pilots and things like that. So it does uh, increase with time. So yeah, uh, let's see here. We have a pending transmission. I kind of want to see that, but I also want to see what this black market has for sale. No LBX ammo. Which kind of stinks, but any mechs? I got a Phoenix Hawk, which I'm okay with that. Uh, you know, you know, crap. Uh, here, go to home. What is a cunning decoy? Let's see here. We deal in shipping and transportation of goods and materials across one of the largest logistics networks in the house Davion. Now, unfortunately, this leads to unwanted attention of criminal syndicates and even pirates. We're moving into an exceptionally large shipment across a particularly troubled area and require to aid. We will leak false information that our convoy is passing through the pair of star systems. In reality, we'll take completely different jump ship routes. It's not a bad one to try. Um, so we got to go to Barstow. Where is Barstow? Okay, so we're heading here. All right, so uh, change of course. We're actually going to be uh, decoys. And our hunchback just got respit in anyway, so we had to, had to have waited uh, until he was, or until that was completely repaired. I think also our pilot's completely healed too, so I think we're okay there as well. Pose as a decoy for the pirates. Uh, let's see here. Three available contracts and a cunning decoy. If you notice here, though, our tonnage limit is 230 tons. Uh, so I got a feeling that this might be a little more difficult. Uh, so let's do something like this. Let's accept here. Lieutenant Freeman still has injuries, which is not good. So we're at 190 out of 230 tons. I'm not too confident about this one. But let's see. Uh, we'll have to wait uh, 14 days. So let's do that. Uh, all of our mechs are repaired. All of our pilots are ready. It's a difficulty 36, though. So, I mean, we just took on a difficulty 40. We might get our butts handed to us, though. But uh, we're going to give it a try. I have tempted, though, to switch over into the Hunchback. Because that AC-20, if used properly, can actually be a very formidable... You know what? Cancel this real quick. Let me go look at the hunchback, make sure everything's on here. Weapons groups. Why? Alright, well, change of plans here. Give me the hunchback. Yep, that's what I wanted. Give that guy the ancient centurion. Alright. I want to try this. I've never piloted a hunchback myself. Um, I've had them in my lances before, and I really like them. With that AC-20 on there, if I can, if I get a hold of a, uh, a smaller mech, it's very possible that I can rip him apart in one or two shots. So that's kind of the idea with this mech, uh, even at close quarters. If we or if we get somebody in the head, uh, usually a AC-20 shot to a head is pretty much a guaranteed kill. It's like a 95% chance of a kill. Uh, let's be honest here. Um, so we're gonna give it a try. Um, not as, you know, maybe not as, I think the wings are, what, 55 tons? So, I don't, they might be the same armor-wise. I know these things are going to be a little bit slower. Um, but hopefully that AC-20 is a little more of a deterrent. But we'll see here. So, you got a feeling that when these pirates come out, they're going to be wanting, uh, they're going to be bringing some mechs uh, to take us out. Especially at difficulty 36. So, hmm, we'll see. Do, 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 No, I didn't ask how everybody was doing today. I'm actually not, I mean, I had a busy morning, but uh, 
it wasn't too awful bad once uh, I get everything done. I'm kind of glad I did, so I don't have to do this tomorrow because usually I cut grass sun or Saturday morning, but uh, I kind of like sleeping in too. So if I don't have to, if I can get up today and get everything done before the stream, I don't have to do anything the rest of the, uh, I don't have to do anything t uh, tonight or tomorrow. So that's always nice. I have uh, tomorrow off. Uh, but tomorrow, <laughs> video-wise, if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, tonight I'm hoping to have the best bits up for the week. So uh, you'll see that. Uh, you'll see the stream from yesterday up tomorrow. I just got it rendered uh, this morning. And then you'll see this stream come out on Sunday. So that's kind of the idea, schedule-wise. So fingers crossed. Hopefully that that should be okay. Uh, but I, I just don't quite sure yet. Hudgewick's actually got a pretty good turning circle, too. I was actually kind of surprised. Oop. Also, just realized I only have 40 shots with the uh, AC-20, so uh, got to be careful. A little more precise with how I shoot this thing. All right, we got to kill 21 people. Let's see here. It's a locust... Get these guys out of here. And come on. Oh, well. And I missed my first shot. That's not great. The weapon sounds amazing, though. That was pretty deep. I, say, I think the tank's dead. That building fell on top of him. Not he is now. Alright, what do we got here? We got a cicada, we've got a cicada, and a locust. Let's take that guy out. Well, actually, you know what? Let's take him out first. This guy. Dead. This thing actually doesn't run too hot. I might actually, in the inverse, um, might actually take a heat sink out of here and put some more ammo in. It may not be the worst idea in the world. This locust has got to be hurting. I got it. He's hurting. Well, that did me a, a load of good. Alright, let's head out this way first. Someone take that down, please. Cool. Alright, so a 
Cicada. Take that out first. Let's get out of here then. I think took an AC-20 and just kept going. There it goes. <laughs> Alright, that, that, th this is... I, this AC-20 is too much. Oh, it's an Ur Oh boy, it's an Irby back. Alright, Irby, I got an AC-20 now, buddy. This is going to be fun. I can see why this may or may not be a, uh, a level 21 mission or a level 36 mission. So he brought some big guns out in this one. Alright. Follow for me, please. Okay. Alright. Um, how do we want to do this? That hunchback's what we got to take out first, but I want to kind of back my guys up. These are the last three guys we're going to take out, so I'm going to let them come to us. Whatever comes first, I'm going to target and we're going to try to all hit them at once. Yeah, Locust wants, uh, wants to be the first. So let's. Uh, Let's go after this locust first. Where's the ant? First question, where is this locust at? Shadowhawks here. But I know how weak these things are, so. And they, they, he's just going to show his back to me, so it's. Got only eight more shots left. How's this thing not dead yet? When I, when I pile those things, I, I get hit by a butterfly and it dies. There it goes. Alright, buddy. Let's see how this goes. It's you and I. Ooh, come on. So I get a headshot, maybe. All right, well, I'm out of ammo. That's not good. Oh, I've hit his head. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know if I hit him in the head. I hit him in the head a couple times, but uh, I don't know if that's actually what killed him or what. But I am leaving. Because uh, that last battle, I'm I mean, I'm out of AC-20 ammo, which is actually not too awful bad, um, you know, you know, wise. Because it's like we, we finished the mission and was all we were fil or we were finishing off that last mech, so it was not uh, not bad at all.
I still, I honestly thinking about actually switching out one of those heat sinks for another AC, another slot of AC twenty. That goes to sixty rounds, and I can be a little more uh, gun ho about it. I was trying to be a little more reserved with that one because I knew I had a limited amount of shots. see what we get now wow did I not I swear I did they just only give me two look at this a hunchback a shadow hawk no I, I can get a LRM 10 I'll take uh, I'll take the I'll take a medium laser and I'll take a small laser because we need both of those yep so this is not the first one uh, we have to do I think two of them I think the second time they're expecting us, which is not the uh, not ideal, but uh, repair mech, start, repair mech, start, repair mech, start, and it load out. Going ahead and uh, take out one of these heat sinks, because uh, to me, I think I'd rather have the ammo. I'm not losing that much cooling, but to be honest with you, it takes forever for our AC-20 to reload. By the time that uh, we're uh, done reloading, it's already, you know, the, the heat's already dissipated from it. So, I just want to try, try it. If it doesn't work, if we overheat quite a bit, I might just switch it back. It's kind of the nice thing about, uh, kind of the nice thing about uh, being uh, in something like this. The, uh, or being in MechWare, we can just switch parts out if we want to. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. I really do like that AC-20. Um, I think, I, I think personally, I was doing a little more, you know, being a little more effective with it than than my lance mate was. But um, maybe that's just me. What in the world is this planet? I, it's not a planet. It's just a lot. It's like a star. There's some lava on it. All right. Well, taking off that heat sink might have been the worst idea I could have done. But I think it's ready. Um, do we need anything? Do anything else? I don't think we do. Let's do one of each of those. I mean, even our heaviest lance is only, you know. Did I not start repairs on my other mech? That's not great if I didn't. Might have just done hit repair at all because I, you know, uh, it's missing a heat sink. It's got all three AC 20s in it. So, all right, well, I guess we're waiting a little bit. There we go. I think we're ready here. This is also difficulty 36. So, I mean, I think we're doing okay with these missions. It kind of just depends. We got to be a little more careful with them, of course, but uh, we can't just walk in the park with them. But I think we're doing a little bit better than just, you know, we're, we're not rolling over them, but we're actually still able to get them done so I think we'll, we'll be okay um, you know we might uh, lose a few weapons or something like that but uh, the reward hopefully is pretty nice I mean they were giving us what 10 heat sinks uh, you know, two RM 10s which are what, 200 grand a piece and I think a couple of machine guns which we're just going to sell and then a good amount of money and a good amount of experience so really that's kind of what we're looking for if they give us the weapons stuff like that, we can sell it for money, and then we can go out and buy what we want to. So, do 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 do. I'm actually kind of glad I got the AC20. It's actually, you know, well, I mean, I I love the, I really like the Centurion, um, but I think you know the guy that I have there. He actually has a level 5 missile. He's actually a little bit better than I am with the missile. Same with the, the medium lasers. But I had a little bit better gunnery uh, in the uh, a, or the ballistic weapons. So it makes more sense for me to actually give him the Centurion, now that I look at it. Because the the SRM-6 I have on there, and the, the two or three medium lasers I had on there, he's going to do more damage with those than I would, and I'm going to do more damage with the AC-20 than he would. So it kind of works out in the end. Do, 
two. I also need to, uh, I think I need to switch the blackjack pilots too. I think the one, no, the one X is one that has all the lasers on it because, um, the BJ one is the one with the two AC twos on it, which that person actually has a higher, um, potential for ballistic weapons. And I'd rather have her get that maxed out. So, I do kind of like war zone contracts where you really don't have to worry about the base you're meeting at. You can just go there and then you can go fight where we want to. Another, lar another larger contract, you got to defeat 22 people. Um, that could be anything from tanks to mechs to helicopters. You got a spider out here, you got light tanks, and so I'm not too concerned. Usually the first couple of waves is not that bad. Oh crap, the spider's right here. Switch it up. Come on, guys. Let me through. Thank you. Cool. Right, I am absolutely lost in this one. Come on, turn. Turn a little faster. I'm not a huge fan of fighting on these dark planets. I have a hard time seeing the enemy. I pretty much just executed that guy. I mean, I literally put a gun to an AC-20 to his head and shot it off. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty neat. I mean, that was wrong. Don't be wrong. That was terrible. But, uh, that's still pretty neat. Alright, what we got out here? Take out the cicada first. Well, if I ring, ring around the building now, that's not, uh,. Ideal for a mech like this. There we go. Is the cicada gone? Is that? Is, I don't think so. I just don't think we see it right this second. Ooh. Is that two shots? with that for that locust that was nice <laughs> okay this is uh this this is nice this is very nice oh all right we're so we're halfway to the contract now it's pretty good all right they're coming from both sides here i'm a little concerned so let's run after these guys See if we can take these guys out before they uh, they get to uh, the rest of us. There's a helicopter out there. Cicada, let's go take that guy out first. Let's keep him light up so I can figure out where he's at. Careful that Centurion looks like they're really going after him. Hmm. <laughs> 
Man, this is this is a lot. To, oh, Herbie, I'm sorry, man. This almost seems a little unfair with this mech. <laughs> but man, is it fun. <laughs> We got two more medium or three medium max on the way in, or two at least. This might be the final wave before we have to take down before we can leave. All right, so it's only two. We got a Centurion. All right, uh, let's take him down first. And something else to hunch back. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Guy down next. Where'd he go? It's like it's a magic trick here. Alright, his AC 20 is damaged. It's kind of the goal. Alright, his is down. That's what I wanted to see. Yes. Can I take out that urban mech for him? We take out these tanks. Okay, I've lost a medium laser, but uh, considering what I just uh, what I just hit, I mean, I'm okay with that. And I am leaving this place. All right, that was fun. Like it, we actually. Uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting a Centurion. I mean, the Hunchback I kind of expected from the last one, but uh, we actually started ripping through these mechs pretty good. Mission success, Commander. It's time to get out of here. Okay. Uh, honestly, switching to the Hunchback might have been my best decision so far. <laughs> just because I, uh, I just think I do way more damage with that thing. Than, you know, any of my lance mates would have. It, it's fun to hit things with the AC-20. I mean, some of those locusts, it'd be one or two shots, and they were just decimated. So let's see what uh, kind of damage we got, because I know I'm missing at least a medium laser. Um, ooh, look at this. We could have got a, or a cicada, is that what it is? We can get a commando, we can get a locust, or we can get an urban mech. AC-10 burst fire, and medium lasers. You know what? Let's take a uh, commando, and we'll take, take a medium laser, and we'll take a heat sink. There we go. The guy just leveled up and ballistic weapons. It's pretty good. He lost something. I don't, he, I don't think he, he might have just lost an arm. Look at this. $1.25 million, 450 rep, uh, two uh, LRM5s. So two LRM5s, two machine guns, and 10 heat sinks. Hmm. Level 7. All right. So we got to go speak to Athar. Oh, we have to speak to this guy. So let's actually repair the mechs first. Repair mechs. Start. That one's okay. Yeah, this one just lost an arm, which is fine, because it's the arm that doesn't have the AC-20 on it. So I'm like, what happened to mine? I'm like, I probably lost a heat sink, but I can repair that one. I'm okay with that. Medium laser we lost, uh, but I've got, I actually got one from that mission. Everything else is repairable. We'll go ahead and start that. Um, and there we go, and then we also got a commando on that mission. Let's see what Fa uh Farhead has. These bloody mechs are gonna put me in an early grave. Just one bloody thing and something escapes. Of course, it doesn't help these pilots treating like they're in some kind of demolition derby. You know the phrase tossed an arm and a leg. Uh, it was made for you, mate. Yeah. No worries though, eh? Fajardo picked them up, good as new. Nothing better for you, eh? All right, that's 
me mate, love that book and please go on and let me get back to you. But no worries tonight. It'll be better than you at home when I grab my work. I mean I am very particular to uh to demolition derby, so you know that makes sense. Um, let me run up here to the bridge. See what we got up here. This is probably the next story mission. I think every level unlocks the next story mission, so I think that's how it works so far. So let's see how this is. Commander, I've got some work news. Having identified the pattern that Black Infernal has been weaving in their world, I've been able, with the help of Steel, to track some of their movements. We're trying to home in on their base of operations. For the moment, we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle. But I think it's only a matter of time now. That's great. Steve has been working closely with me on this. He's just sent this transmission. Take a listen. Liana, using the information you sent me and by correlating the refugee movements we've been tracking, I ordered my intelligence people to start focusing their efforts on a very specific region of space. I was hoping to pinpoint infernal activity in as close to real time as possible. My gambling paid off. It appears that Inferno forces recently seized a refinery from a private consortium and are using the fuel reserves to help power their operations. Commander, this refinery represents a high value target. By attacking it, you can deliver Inferno the first blow of metal on your way to dismantling their operations and getting them back to the Starter fleet. I have no doubt that's been your plan since the day Inferno struck havoc on base. I'll help in any way I can. I've started by sending you the coordinates to the planet where the refinery is located, along with what little intel I was able to gather. Not much, but enough so you won't have to go in completely blind. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be in touch. I've already added the coordinates into the NAV system and put together a briefing from the intel Steele provided. Once you get a set up system, Commander, we can send them to hell where they belong. Amen to that. All right, so this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the mission I am on on my other game where I'm having some issues with it. So it, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have two heavy mechs and two medium mechs. I'm having issues with it. So probably going to wait until we get something a little bit heavier, uh, mech-wise at least, because I don't think we'll, I mean, I, I don't remember how much we have to drop in there with. I don't remember. Let's see. I will accept the mission because we don't uh, don't really have to do in there. But if you look here, hold on. And we're looking at 55 ton max, or you know, 65 ton max. Um, you know, and they can bring pretty much anything they want to, really. But yeah, you can kind of see how that is. Um, so it can be uh, rather. Uh, you know, rather, you know, intense. So I think what we need to do is start looking for at least one heavy mech. Because um, I think what we can do... I mean, let me go to the battle mechs here. Because I think if we bring in our Centurion, our Hunchback, a heavy mech of some sort, and maybe something like our Shadowhawk, which is a 55 tons. That's 50, that's 105. What's well, 100, 155? You're looking at like 210, 215. I mean, that's a good lance, a uh, you know, pretty good lance with a heavy mech there. Um, it's kind of a 60-ton heavy mech, because you know, that's the ones I can find. Um, something like that we can maybe uh, do uh, We can do that mission with. Uh, but for right now, guys, I'm going to run and use the restroom really quick, um, and so I will be right back. Um, what we'll do next is we'll go off to one of the, um, the industrial hubs. We'll go and see what we can do. Um, see what, what kind of mechs we can find. Maybe we can find something a little bit more powerful than what we have now. I don't think anything. I mean, to help replace maybe one of the blackjacks and uh, add the shadow hawk in as our kind of our main lance. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, but when I get back, so let me go ahead and put the be right back screen up here, and I will be right back, guys. If you take a break, please do. This is a great time to do so, and I will be back. Alrighty, everybody, I am back. Let's get the game back going up here. So let's head over to one of those industrial hubs here. What level is this? It's only level six. Huh. Uh, let's see what this hero mech is. Why not? Because we're looking for mechs. Like a hero urban mech that has like two small lasers on it because some of the guy was so crazy they just put two small lasers on it. I don't know. We'll see. 
My neck and my shoulders give me some fits. I don't know why. I mean, Hero Mac Blackjack. Ugh. I mean, I'll, don't get me wrong. I like the Blackjack, but, uh... <laughs> Number one. Why in the world would you pilot this neck? <laughs> Large pulse laser. That's a pretty good one. Two medium lasers. Six machine guns. Why? I mean, just... You know, that's actually not the worst thing in the world. Um, I mean, it's funny to actually, you know, it's more like a joke one. Um, you know, it's just that, uh, it, it just seems like, you, why would you have that many uh, machine guns in one mech? However, I do see two mechs that I am interested in. These are, these are the quick draws. Because... All right, so this, they're the same loadout, but I don't know why the difference in the H and the G is. I don't know if there's much, but this one actually seems to be a little bit better condition. However, we can replace the medium laser. I mean, is it really worth 200 grand for the 4H? I'm trying to look to see if there's really any difference in these things. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I want to buy this mech. You know, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Number one, quick draws, pretty good mech. And, well, first off, I need to go back to the market. Inventory. Commando sell. Um, now let's get back to our battle mechs. This is technically our first heavy mech. Now, uh, it's 60 tons. Uh, pretty good weapon-wise. Um, got a lot of lasers on it. Let me actually go ahead and edit the loadout here. Um, it does have jump jets, so let's get rid of those. Yeah, even on a heavy mech, they have jump jets. Um, so that actually took off about 55 tons of worth of stuff. Let's get rid of these lasers here. Let's go ahead and get those replaced. Get some SRM ammo, which I think we have plenty of. So we have an LRM-10 here, an SRM-4 down here. So not bad. Four medium lasers, not bad at all. If we max the armor out, we're only getting to 59.9 tons. Let's see here. This gives us 440 rounds. It's giving 44 shots with that. SRMs, we're getting 80 shots with that one, so I'm not too awful bad for that. Heating is not great on this one because it does fire a lot of lasers all at once. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in another heat sink uh, over here. We're strip it and then max it again. So uh, we're at 60 tons again. We're adding 128 points of armor to it. Uh, so that's quite a bit of armor. Uh, we've maxed it out pretty much on armor. Um, the legs are all lacking a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start that work. It's going to cost us about 194 grand. So it's a little bit cheaper for one. It doesn't cost. It didn't cost us quite as much as the other one did. Um, and I think this will be a good mech for us to uh, have. So let's go ahead and give it our old paint scheme here. Uh, I believe it's this one here. So I've got FF6431, would be the orange we're using. For blue, we're using 3B0092. And for the tertiary, we're using EEFF00. Boosh, there we go. That might look a little bit better once it's repaired, but, you know, it's a pretty neat mech. I'll apply that, and we'll hit OK. Let's get that repaired, and we'll get it ready to rock and roll. Let's head over to the star map, then. Um, I don't really want to quite go for the, the story mission right yet, um, just because uh, we uh, well, I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. Um... Well, this is a level 7 area. I think we might want to go over here. Uh, and the reason I say that is uh, this is the mission I am on with my, my normal campaign. Um, and I'm having some issues with it. And I actually have two heavy mechs and two medium mechs. So, you know, I might want to hold off a little bit until we at least get a second heavy mech. Um, now, on the other game, I, I have, I think, a Shadowhawk, a Centurion, a Rifleman, and an Archer. 
So they're not too awful bad, but I don't have anything with a lot of stopping power like the AC-20. Uh, but I do have a missile boat in that one. I actually have the Archer. I think it's the Archer, and I could be wrong about that. But that one has two LRM-20s on it, and then I think three medium lasers. So it's a decent mech for what it is. And so, you know. So we can do Hunting Bounties, which is a war zone. Or we can do this one. So this is a two-mission operation. So we actually have to do two missions back-to-back. -back. Now, with our current situation mech-wise, we might be able to do that. We probably wouldn't bring both the Hunchback, the Centuriot, and the Quick Draw on the same mission. I might bring this Quick Draw, the Shadowhawk, and then the two Blackjacks. And then bring the Javelin, the, the Jenner, the Hunchback, and the Shadowhawk on the next one. Uh, but we can also use the same ones again. So, like, let's say the Hunchback didn't take too much damage. We can always use it again. We might try that uh, afterwards, but let's go after the first one, Hunting Bounties. Um, we're going after House Liao again. Take three, six of those, because we don't know what kind of mechs we're going to face, because we could have, um, if you look here, let's look at the intelligence of this place, Hue Intel. So there's some 60 ton mechs that are kind of rare, but we can still find those. Uh, some 55 ton mechs might not be bad here to look at. This one's apparently common, but we haven't seen it yet. Uh, there's another 60-ton mech that's very common. We might see that out here. Another uncommon 65-ton mech. I have some ideas of what they could be. Um, not really sure exactly which ones, though. So hunting bounties. Take this one. Max out the salvage shares. Do two damage. I'll do three damage and two uh, sea bills. I'll accept it. Now, uh, we do want to get our other one in here, so it is mostly lasers. Probably put it on this person here. So we are, technically, we are technically still under the tonnage, uh, like quite a bit, where I still got 25 tons to play with. We could bring our Shadowhawk in and bring it up to 215. That actually probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Let's try this. Um, I do need to wait uh, for that mech to be fixed, though. But we're now dropping 215 tons with that quick draw. It's our first heavy mech, and I'm not going to pilot it uh, because I do want to stay in with that AC-20 because I do have the best potential to do the most damage with it. So I think that's kind of the best thing for me to do. The Shadowhawk, I, I'm hoping it'll be okay. Fingers crossed kind of thing. Um... But I think this will be a good one. I'd like to get a missile boat, and sometimes the quick draws, some certain variants of it can be a missile boat. This one is not, unfortunately. Um, I'd like to get one before we go on that mission, so maybe we need to keep an eye out for like an archer, or a catapult would be awesome. A uh, catapult is like the quintessential missile boat. I think it's even on the cover of the game, like if you, uh, or the splash screen. There's a mech jumping, and I'm not mistaken, that's a, that is a, uh, a catapult so usually I can mount it with two alarm 20s and two medium lasers and it's a really good mech that way long distance uh, but it just rains missiles down and it's amazing so if we can find one of those I haven't seen one in this game though and I'm pretty sure they're in the game I mean there I don't think a Battletech game would be complete without a catapult um, so we'll see about that um, if we can get a tribute to a tribute wouldn't be terrible I'd like some I'd like to start getting into some heavy mechs though I think with this uh, this uh, hunchback we can uh, we actually have the kind of that stopping power for those heavier mechs uh, that we actually can do a lot of damage very quickly to them and I think that's uh, a good thing and especially with the AC-20 if we can get some headshots in which I have been getting some in um, they, those are more likely to be salvaged so we'll see how this goes uh, hopefully this mission won't be too awful bad. It's only a 35. That's what we were doing beforehand. So, <clears throat> I did also put a new uh, a new poll out today. If you guys want to take a look this down uh, right below the stream here. I was asking about Battletech. See how much you guys knew before you came to the stream or during the stream. See if you guys knew. Uh, the question is how much or did you guys have have you guys heard of Battletech before watching the stream? Um, I'm just kind of curious how many people watching this already uh, know about Battletech or not.
nothing too awful big here. But, uh, I can't walk through that wall. How's that thing not dead yet? Alright, it's dead now. Oh, my allies have a crab. That's cool. Can we steal that? I mean, fair enough. I mean, they probably will need it, but uh, can we, we can trade them like a javelin, maybe a jenner for it. I mean, I think a crab's a 50 ton mech. It's got a large laser and a couple medium lasers. Maybe a little light for what we're looking towards. Up a little bit. Ready for them. I think we're okay there. Alright, so we gotta take out 21 people. That's where they're coming from here. Uh, we're gonna stay on the other side here. So that's gotta be one of theirs, or one of our allies, unfortunately. Well, neither one of those shots helped me here. Alright, he's down. So we got five AC2s and two machine guns. That's uh, that's a lot of tank. So I can't walk through that wall. Got it. Can we just blow the wall down? I mean, this is kind of getting a little annoying. Where is that last mech at? Oh, it's an urban mech. Yeah, that didn't end well for them. Alright, bring up on me. Let's see if we can go over these guys. Beat them out in the field instead of the city. Tank. Yeah, they brought a medium this time. Let's see what we got around here. It's a blackjack. Alright, well, not the biggest thing in the world. I kind of hope it's something more 60 or 65 ton range, but, uh, you know. Focus out here. So there's another helicopter left. Let's see if we can now next wave. That'll be over here. Raster missile platform. And a light mech over here. Ah, good old trash can here. Yep. 
going to turn around and face them out here. Don't want to hit that guy, but uh, it hit him pretty hard. Wasn't even an AC-20 shot. Fire starter. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what that mech was. I'm like, I don't think that's a, uh, something we're used to seeing, but, uh, stupid wall again. Thank you. Guys hurting. Your resistance is pulling in more hostiles from the surrounding area. There is the can we shoot down the dropship and then this just ends it? Or what do we got here? Urban mech, a cicada, what's the other one? What's a hunchback, I think it is. Yep, alright. We're going after that guy first, guys. That might have been a headshot kill. I don't know that for a fact, but uh, I'd like to think it was. All right, looks like that's like, like two more I'll have to kill. Looks like one's a helicopter and one's a cicada. All right, well. hurting a little bit after that uh, encounter with the other hunchbacks, so I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> Go around the wall. Kind of hoping to see some heavier mechs, I, you know, especially with these difficulty or harder difficulty missions, you know, they're, uh, I'd, ex I'd expect to see a little bit bigger, bit, uh, bigger mechs. here nothing really and we got a cicada i mean they're worth about three million bucks so we'll take it let's see what other valuable i mean let's take another medium laser we could use one of those um doesn't look like we lost anything really let's go ahead and so we got the cicada this guy didn't lose i think he lost a lot of armor but nothing really uh weapon wise same with this guy. I think we all just pretty much took damage. Even the Shadowhawk. Even the Shadowhawk actually survived something. It was a miracle. But, uh... Mud mech's a little worse for wear. Those, uh, the other Hunchback did take a toll on the, uh, the mech. Um, but it only had the six medium lasers on it, so I was... Pretty confident that I could pretty much take him down. Point, point available contract. This is the one that, uh, you have to do two missions at once. It's two assassination missions. <sighs> I 
you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. If this doesn't work, so we're, I'm gonna do a manual save. Uh, so something like that. Uh, and we're gonna try this. Um, let's wait till our mechs though are completely repaired because I think we might need more than just uh, that. Um, so let's go to uh, contracts here. Open bounty. Uh, let's go ahead and negotiate. Uh, we have 11 negotiation power. Let's do something like this. Uh, that's a little crazy. But remember, this is actually multiply this by two, if I'm not mistaken. So, we're getting close to two billion dollars just for these missions. So, I'm okay with it. Uh, we're dropping two fifteen on the first one. I don't know. Do we want to drop that, or do we want to switch out for something a little bit lighter, uh, just in case something does happen to our quick draw or something like that? Uh, but you know what? Since we we're just gonna go with it. If something does happen, if something really is damaged, we'll switch it out for the second mission. But uh, yeah, I don't see why um, why we could you know why we couldn't just do two missions like the last one. I think we could have stayed and been fine. Um, I probably wouldn't have charged into that hunchback if I know we had to do a second mission right afterwards. Um, but um, I think it's well worth. Uh, our time to uh, try uh, try and do two of them, especially if we can get done. I don't know if we can repair between hand or between. Um, I know sometimes like with these missions they'll allow you to repair a little bit, so they'll like allow you to put armor back, but you can't like repair inter internal structure. So if you lose a leg, it's probably not worth taking that mech. But if it just lost armor, it does get a little bit of the armor back afterwards. So we'll see how this mission goes, but. Uh, these are just two quick assassination missions, so it should just be a couple of mechs we have to take down and then get out of there, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, of course, the last assassination, well, not the last one, but one of the assassination mi missions we did was the one where we lost um, our second pilot there, uh, but we did have to, we, so that's the one we redid. That's one of the first hunchback we saw was actually one of the assassination targets, so... Let's try. Maybe this AC-10 is actually going to be make, make a difference in it now. So, all right. Stretching the uh, shoulder still giving me a little bit of issue, but uh, I did take something while I was uh, on break. So, hopefully that'll uh, help it. Hopefully it won't bother me the rest of the stream, but. Uh, you never know. We'll see. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alrighty, so where are we going to go first? There and there. Okay, so I think forms on me. I think we can go this way. Maybe. I have no idea. I probably have to go back and down this hill a little bit and around. If I won't go full throttle, let them catch up. Actually, the mech that's keeping up, uh, up with us the best is actually our heavy mech. Oh crap! Well, uh, speaking of catching up, let's actually uh, let's actually get to the mission now. And uh, didn't expect enemies this far out. To be honest with you. We're moving in behind you, Commander. Yeah. But enemies mean that we're going in the right direction, so that's uh, that's always a good thing. what it was but it's dead now so that's that's a good thing I mean, anything with a ppc we we just need to take out as fast as we can because even though i don't like them they uh they can't ooh, some heavier vtols here hey is 
down. All right. Looks like he's gonna have to catch up a little bit. Where does he pilot? He's only got a Griffin. He's got other things around him. Let's go after the Griffin. I'm just gonna go straight at him and see if I can take him out quickly and then run. Now moving out of the uh, the right line of fire here, and we kill the the other guy really quick now. All right, so we gotta run through here. I think probably be the best idea to run through here, but. Uh, I think that's going to be the easiest way. I know, I know we're, we, we technically have uh, another mission to do after this, like right after this, but uh, there was a lot of mechs in there. I, I think I, you know, that was kind of the better way to handle it. We, you know, our guys took care of the other mechs and I just went after the, the main guy. So I'll slow up here a little bit and let our guys catch up. More so, you guys can catch up. Come on, guys. Get out of this canyon, maybe. They, they might be having some issues with the canyon. I if we can walk into uh, enemy fire here. I missed with that. How in the world did I miss? They're all up here now. Think behind that rock there, so. Yeah. We found our primary target. Let's go get him. Oh, where is he at? That's the better question. I really don't want to go into this facility if I don't have to, but it looks like he's actually in there. No, that's not him. Where is he at? Is he gonna vindicate? Really? That's it? Alright, well, that was underwhelming. I'm getting zero reactor signature from the target. Looks like we've got them all. That bounty is ours. Bard will break open a case of too big to dark when you get back to the ship safely. You know, all, all all the mechs but mine look okay. I mean, pretty good, I should say. But hold on here. I thought I saw a... Maybe not. I thought I saw a, a enemy heavy mech, which if that was true, I was going to go after it. Because who knows what kind of salvage they would, they would uh, drop then. But uh, nope. All right. Never mind then.
right, so let's see what uh, <laughs> what we can and can't do after this mission. I mean, I think I'd be able to take out the Hunchback again, so I'm not too concerned, but uh, it's going to be a little more careful, I guess. We should be able to re-equip, like, restock ammo and stuff like that, too, so I'm not, you know, totally... Um, I mean, I was about halfway out of ammo, so... It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we have to go right back out, but... Um, Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go with the uh let's get the griffin. We can just sell it and uh and what other thing of value can we take? Um Yeah, we'll take a LRM ten and we'll take a medium laser. And yes, we actually do get that for both missions. So we get the eighteen salvage shares for both, so um uh, continue. Ah. So we don't get any we do get a little bit of armor repair, which I think on the back my my back armor on my hunchback's worse than my uh, front. But if you look here, we've lost eighty four there, they've lost hundred and eleven, that lost they've lost ninety seven. Um Honestly, the only one I'm concerned about is my hunchback, and so if I just stay back a little bit, uh and not go full throttle right into him, I think I'll be okay. I did say think I'll be okay. We'll, uh, we'll see how actually how that practice goes, but, uh, you know. I mean, we'll have to do a lot of repairs, but, I mean, we've already got, you know, if they're Griffins, let's say, you know, mechs are only worth half of what their actual value is. Their Griffin's worth almost $2.5 million by itself, so we have the Griffin to sell, we have the Cicada to sell, um, so after this mission, we'll probably head to an industrial hub, and maybe if we get another mech here, we'll get to sell three mechs, especially if it's a uh, medium one. Just sell them, and then maybe find another heavy mech for us. Might not be a bad idea. Alrighty, let's do this. I didn't think about this though when I started this mission is that if one of my pilots is hurt uh, I have no way to replace them and so maybe when we go back to a planet we might want to look at for another pilot so if we want to continue doing these if one of our pilots gets injured we can actually have a backup pilot or dead or two or you know, I don't think we'll need three but you know at least one backup pilot probably wouldn't be worse and we can afford the payroll on it It looks weird to come out and all of a sudden Reactor these things are already online. shot up. But uh, that's how it works sometimes. Online. All system phenomenal. There's a good chance our targets have split up in order to evade us. The more locations on the map are the most likely areas where we'll find them. Be careful, as they have many supporters in the area. Let's see here. That was 2,000, that one's 2,200. So let's let the the, uh, pan, or, uh, the leopard move. We'll head right where it pretty much it landed at. All right, guys, let's head out this way. We are actually around this way. So we actually might go to this 2100 first and then loop back around, just because how the, the mountains are set up. We shouldn't overheat, though. I, of course, I'm honest with you, we haven't had much heat problems in this thing, which I'm kind of surprised with. Um, I think kind of just the, the reload time of that AC-20 is uh, is kind of what's causing that, but that's that's fine with me. Now, I expect a lot more damage on this one because we're already starting out with a little bit, but uh, as long as we don't lose that AC-20, I think we'll be okay. Walk up this way. I think we're we'll going to go down this way and around. Um, so. There we go. Tank, though, come up the valley. The more we can take. Ooh, the more of these guys we can take out. Um now the better so that we don't have to worry about them a little later so they will follow us through this mission
that and also it's kind of nice to have these things if we need to retreat or move back a little bit uh, these things won't be right behind us it's not the worst I need to take you know to clear a little area out especially if you know we have to go a million miles to get to the uh, target Oh, there's three targets we need to assassinate here. Well, this is going to be fun. Not what I was hoping for, to be honest with you. How's that thing not dead yet? There it goes. All right. Uh, ooh, okay, guys, let's, let's focus on one at a time here. Uh, yeah, one's in a rifleman. That's going to be fun. Lost a laser. Well, I'm in trouble because I only have a medium laser left. All right, that's a Griffin, and so you know what? I think we'll go ahead and restart the mission because. I don't have any, uh, any what? Oh, I have one weapon left. I had a medium laser. All right, so they're bringing uh, more than I thought they would. Um, looks like they had a Phoenix Hawk, a Rifleman, and a Griffin. Uh, so, if we... Oh, by the way, uh, if, one thing thinking about it. That's a catapult in the top. Oh, I'm covering it up. Hmm. Didn't think about that. Yeah, the, the mech right where my face is if I can hold on I'll tab out here I can do this you see right there pretty much where my my head is that's actually a catapult that's the one I was kind of talking about earlier so that's one we I'd love to have because it's a really good uh, mech uh, like just doing missile wise um, so So I think what we need to do is we need to clear out that area, like clear out the tanks and stuff like that, and then hopefully if we can focus fire on one of them. I mean the Phoenix Hawk, we, or the Phoenix Hawk we almost had dead. Um, the Griffin won't be too bad. The PTC is kind of what we need to worry about with that thing, and then the Rifleman. I mean it's a heavy mech, uh, so you know, fair enough. It could be, um, it could be that. Uh, we just need to, you know, hit, hit it as hard as we can. Um, but I think, I don't know if we want to leave that one for last, because the Phoenix Hawk won't take long to take out. If we can take out the PPC on the Griffin, which is on its arm, that won't be, um, that won't be too awful bad, so. Alright, come on guys, move out of the way here. Actually, we might be able to just go, uh, this way and around. Mech might be beat up a little more than I thought it would be, but uh, oh well. Uh, we still need if we, if we I think we can still do this. I mean we we do have quite a bit of damage, armor law things like that, but I think if we can focus fire on just one mech at a time and don't move as far up as we did, I think we can make it and kind of draw them down this hill here because I think we'll be okay. Not saying we will be, but. Uh,
I want those guys go first because they have a lot more armor than I do. I hit him once with the AC-20. Like some turrets around here. I think we're okay now. I want, I want it to trigger and then I want to back up. Well, that was lucky. All right. Well, let's move up a little further. All right, targets cool. Are here, All right, let's back it up here. And take her quick. Let's Don't see her. That guy take him out. No. Next one has got to be the rifleman. I think that rifleman just shut down for a minute, so he's overheating maybe? I don't know. Oh, there's that griffin too. I don't expect him to be this close, but... Can you get some help back here, please? Cool, the Griffin, I think, just died. Oh, we got that rifleman still. No, maybe not. All right, so a little bit uh, more difficult than I thought, but it's cool. I mean, we, we're actually getting some harder missions now, and I, I kind of want to see that. Um, all right, turrets. Ooh, there's something bigger over here than I thought. Oh, uh, that's another rifleman. Oh, that's a Jaeger mech. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, the Jaeger mech. Yeah, I need to get out of here now. I didn't expect a, a Jaeger mech to show up either. Jaeger mechs are pretty good. Uh, they're like the bigger version of the Riflemans. They carry two AC-5s and two AC-2s. So, yeah, they can pack quite a bit of bunch. Um, and I think they're actually heavier than the Riflemans are. So, we got out of there. I think everybody's alive and all the mechs are still up. So, at least we did that. Um, yeah, so not not totally uh, totally bad. I, I did lose a laser, but uh, ooh, all right. What do you want? Uh, you know, what? I want to take the Griffin because it's uh, probably worth a little more to uh, me then, uh, just because you know reasons. 
Uh, AC-10 will take one of those. Um, you know what? No, they only have one heat sink. Oh, and I can't take it. Um, let's take, actually take that off. Take two AC-5s then. Okay, got two pilots injured. Not great. Um, let's head over to an industrial zone now. Uh, look at this. Three more mechs to sell. Uh, home star map. So I think, hopefully, um, that might have been worth uh, worth the uh, the uh, the missions there. We just we're actually right at about four million dollars. So we'll probably be around six or so when we sell all these mechs, and then probably around four again when we actually repair all of our mechs. Um, Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we've got a center range PPC, an LRM-15, and an SRM-2 with Artemis-4. Why in the world would you ever have an SRM-2 with an, uh, Artemis? I have no idea. But, let's go to the market here. Uh, let's go to... They have another quick draw here. Uh, this one actually has... Eh, it's okay. Uh, Battle mech inventory, though. Uh, let's go down to our... Griffins. We actually have a pair of Griffins to sell. And the Cicada. I know my head's blocking it. We actually just brought... Hold on. Let me actually turn my my actual camera off. You can see up here in the top right-hand corner. We actually just broke $10 million. So, yeah, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty nice. But now we can actually go in here. Let's go to Battle Mix. Uh, edit Loadout. Let's change this up. Let's go to let's get some medium lasers on the on the go here. Uh, hit repair all. So we're back up. That's that's a good one. 18 days, not too bad here. Uh, this guy lost the AC-10 on his, so that's not great. Uh, but I think we have at least one more backup. That's not bad. If I hit repair all, all issues go away, and we're good there. Quick draw. This one lost a couple things. Lost. Ooh. All right. So we lost a medium laser here. So let's go one by one, component wise. Lost a single heat sink. Lost some L or SRM ammo and two medium lasers. And let's just pop those back in here. Uh, hit repair all. It's going to take us almost a month on those. So, but that works out really well. And the Shadow Hawk, which hold on, I just want to point out here. This is, I think, the first time that this Shadowhawk had probably the least amount of damage out of any of my mechs out there. Quick draw lost an arm, or quick draw lost an arm and a torso. The Centurion lost an arm. I lost an arm. This thing, I mean, we could take it back out and just be fine. What in the world is going on here? So there's that. Uh, don't really want any of these weapons, which kind of stinks. But I'm going to travel up here since we have money. I mean, we, we're not really... I mean, I'm, even with the repairs, I just broke $9.5 million. So it's a lot cheaper to repair mechs here. So that's why I wanted to come here. I knew this was going to be a, kind of an expensive repair bill if we didn't. So... I'm hoping... Well, there's supposedly a special mech here for sale. Uh, it's a blackjack. Is it the same blackjack we sold before? I haven't even shown there's a blackjack here. Alrighty, well. It also. Uh, I don't see any ammo I'm looking for. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, star map again and go over here. Cause there's some more ra rare weapons for sale over here. Let's see if I can see any other. There's another, maybe one there. We can maybe go try. Actually, travel over there. Set course. Our mechs are getting refitted pretty quick now. I also want to see if they have any LBX ammo. I really want to see if I can... Well, I mean, really for our purposes. I mean, I don't have an LBX-20, but, you know. Oh, we have a rare machine gun for sale. Hmm. I don't think that's quite what we need here, so. Um, what? Oh, hold on. Time out. They have a grasshopper here. And a grasshopper is a 70-ton heavy mech. Uh, five or four medium lasers, a large laser, and an LRM-5. I'm actually a really big fan of grasshoppers, especially um, these were. Uh, these are actually technically uh, 
technically these are actually more like um, they're for jumping, um, as, hence the name Hopper. But uh, these are actually really fun to have, and I have the money to buy one. And so I think I'm going to buy one. I have a griffin there. Who cares about a griffin? Mm. Um, and to be honest with you, I might start getting rid of some of our lighter mechs. I mean, we're, we're paying almost three, just over $300,000 just to keep our mechs up now. Um, and our pilots, of course. But uh, let's see, look here. Really, this just needs some repairs, uh, some armor. Uh, let's get rid of the jump jets, like all good people should. And the large laser, we do have a better one we can replace it with. And now we're four tons down on uh, weight. Let's see if we can max the armor out. We're uh, still about four tons down on weight. Um, Heat-wise, how can we maybe improve the heat sinks maybe a little bit? Um, LRM-5, this is it's plenty of rounds there. Um, we're still down a ton of... Uh, you know what, what? What happens if we just do this? Strip and then max the armor out. Um, so we gain a little bit more firepower just because this thing should be able just to crank out shot after shot after shot and not have to worry about it. So this is only costing 77 grand to fix that. So let's do that. Um, I really think it might be time to say goodbye to this javelin because we're doing 200 ton missions now and we have a good variety of medium and heavy mechs. And to be honest with you, I might just get rid of the Jenner too because you know, they're, 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 they're good mechs. I'm not going to say they're not, but um, we just, you know, we're just keeping them in storage and they're costing us money. So um, yeah, I think it's time to get rid of them. So, Javelin, worth about a million dollars, and the Jenner is worth about 1.6, so let's sell that. Back up seven and a half, or almost eight million dollars, actually. Um, I wonder if this still has our paint schemes on it. Oh, it does! Oh, that's pretty cool. I, it's sad, but yeah, it's time to get rid of them. Um, I don't know where else. We, do we want to try to see if maybe we can find... There's new Avalon. Ooh, hold on here. Let's go over here and see if maybe we can try to find another... Well, let's see. Hold on. Because right now, I want to... In the big scheme of things, for that story that story mission, I want to do at least probably one more and just make sure I've got all these kind of figured out. But we're bringing a Grasshopper, which is a 70-ton mech, a, sh a Quick Draw, a Centurion, and a Hunchback. That's probably going to be our big four. Um... I actually move the, I'll even move the grasshopper into the uh, the top row there. Um, I also need to paint it. But while I while I uh, talk, I, we can talk about uh, this. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I think to be honest with you, that might not be a bad combination for that next mission. Um, I do know a little bit what's coming up. Oh well, that didn't work. E e. Uh, Alrighty, so there's that. Um, I might change how the paint scheme looks here soon, too. I, I, I got a feeling I'm, I might... The Applejack's pretty cool, but I think maybe something else might be kind of fun to just to try out, too. So, um, I think we need to start making our way towards that next mission, or our next story mission. So, let's view system here. We're actually not that far away, to be honest with you. Um, you know what? Let's do this. What we did last time. We're gonna make, I'm going to make a manual save. Save, so we're at McHenry. And then we are going to go ahead and travel to Footfall. Everything should be ready by then, including uh, our uh, including our pilots. And getting rid of those two mechs, we actually saved about, I think it was like 80 grand just in payments. So, it's not, it was pretty worth it, so... We are at Footfall now, so we also have a black market here. What do they have in the black market? Let's see. Uh, let's see. No LBX ammo, which is unfortunate. Um, you know what? Let's pick up one auto cannon 20 uh, burst fire. It's a little bit of money, but uh, I do need a backup one because I didn't have one. Um, we can get rid of these small SRM-2s. And 
and the jump jets here. Torrent just paid for that, uh, paid for that, uh, AC-20 there. SRM-6, I don't believe we have a mech that has one of those. Machine guns, level 3. I'll get rid of those. Um, get rid of these two auto cannons because we do have some better ones. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Uh, so let's take a look at this contract here. It's a level, it's a 40. So we've been doing 36s, so, you know, let's, let's be honest here. We can probably do this. Um, let's get 12 there. We'll get some money as well. Honestly, we really don't need that money. I mean, it's $1.6 million we're going to get from it. I'd like to have some damage coverage. We can bring 250 tons, and that's what I'm kind of concerned with. Uh, so let's see here. Shadowhawk. You replace that with a Grasshopper, because she's already a level 5 weapon or missile or laser-wise. That might be a pretty good mech for her. We're sitting at 230 tons. We're still 20 tons overweight with our four biggest mechs. That's pretty crazy. Um, I mean, what we could do, we can actually upgrade the, we, we can actually upgrade the, oh, maybe not, uh, well, actually, we can actually upgrade the Hunchback to a 70-ton mech and still be at our weight limit. But I think the next one we're going to replace, maybe the Centurion, because the AC-20, the AC-20 is what really brings, what the Hunchback kind of brings to the table that it keeps it around for a while. And usually, even if, I don't, you know, even if I move on, get to heavy and assault mechs, I usually will keep a hunchback around just because they are so versatile. I love the mech. And I've actually been really enjoying piloting it too, so. To be honest with you, one of my favorite mechs to have, uh, I, I haven't seen one yet in this game, so I don't know if it's in this one yet or not. Uh, my favorite mech of all time is what they call a Thor or a Summoner. Uh, but that is a clan mech, and you don't really see them in, game, in this type of game, um, either in the newer battle techs, because they're, they come a lot later in the in the uh, lore of BattleTech. Um, but their predecessor was something called a shoot. I don't remember what it's called. I can mentally see it, and I don't remember what in the world the thing's called. I'll think about it here in a second. I'll, it'll it'll come to mind. But it, it's very similar to it. Uh, it's like an LRM-10, four medium lasers, and like an AC-2 or an AC-5. So they're decent mechs. Um, usually I put all lasers on mine because I just kind of prefer it. Uh, what is that thing called? It's going to drive me crazy until I remember it. And I, I will remember it eventually, but I just don't remember what it is now. I've got some time here. Let's see if I can go to Google really quick and see if I can uh, figure out what it is. Oop. Battle Tech Game. Thunderbolt. That's what it is. Could not think of that for me. It's the Thunderbolt class mech that I, that's my favorite. So they're nice, um, decent mechs, and they're like I think they're sixty-five ton mechs. So they're not the heaviest thing in the world, but uh, I usually can carry one or two of those around and, and have a good good amount of firepower. Plus a catapult, which is I think a seventy-ton mech or sixty-five-ton mech somewhere around there. So and that's something I'd love to have had before this mission. Um, but I think uh, a little more rare, I guess, than I think they are. Um, so, but we'll do this one. So this one, if I'm not mistaken, we have to. It's a kind of a combination. We have to defend the base first, and then we have to go out and destroy a refinery. So, kind of a mix of both. all these big mechs now. Oh, love it. We actually got a heavy mech. We, we actually have two heavy mechs now. 
and I'm naming Palanig one of them, which is kind of odd, but, um, you know, it'll be, uh, yeah, so I mean, yeah, they, they throw us right into this one. I really don't have, I mean, you need heavy mechs, or at least one or two heavy mechs to get this mission done. Um, it's unfortunate that, you know, a lot of this base, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to take a beating before you can really even get there. There is some turrets around it, so. But, uh. Usually it's, uh, not great until you get there. It's already lost 25% of its health before we even got here. So it's it's not great. So this does make this a little bit more difficult because you first have to defend a base and then go after their fuel refinery. So it's a little more difficult. Come on. There we go. Wow, that was uh that was terrible. There we go. I'm just not hitting the broadside of a barn on this mission. There's, there's some good hits there. I think this is the last guy to take out before they start sending more guys. Let's start bringing other stuff too, like tanks, like that. I don't think they bring any mechs out this way, but uh, I know they bring at least some uh, heavier tanks. Those bigger VTOL aircraft are, uh, they'd be pretty deadly. I mean, there are two AC-10s on it, so it's, yeah, it's not like, uh, not like they're kidding around too much with them. Kind of can see where their base is going to be. It's all along, pretty much in that area. I'm being a little more cautious on this mission because I do know that this is kind of a little bit of a longer mission, so, um, yeah, we, we, we are, uh, and, uh, we will need to put, uh, a lot, little more effort in it towards the end because they, this one gets kind of big. Yeah, we actually haven't gotten to the, the actual refinery yet. We're actually still fighting through their, their fortress. Clamp. So there should be a mech on top.
top of this hill here. Which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it could be different for every uh, campaign playthrough, but I, so far it's been about the same. There's the Vindicator. See, he's not dead yet. I don't know how in the world have I not killed him yet. There we go. Alrighty, well, this is uh, not going as I thought it would, but. Uh So we've got uh, the fuel depots now on, uh, actually in range of them now, so that's a good thing. I think the first one's just around this wall here. First one. Oh, I didn't blow up like I thought it would. There it goes. So I'm gonna wait here for these guys to catch up because the next part you actually go into like a the actual kind of in the big refinery here. Um, once you blow up the second one, uh, they actually start bringing in some heavier mechs. I don't remember what, being honest with you, but I do know they're bigger than they were, or than we have been fighting, so it's going to be a little more careful. Um, just, uh, come on, guys. I think he hit the top of that building and he killed himself, but uh, you know what? That's okay with me. So the first, I, or the first time I did this, I actually went after that farther one first, not a good idea, because um, you're uh, we're trying to clear up, or because uh, the other one's actually a lot closer. Um, but the uh, that lance that pops up pops up over there, so uh, you want to be over there right when they land, so that you can get as as quick of a jump on them as you can, take them out. You doing squished? Come on, guys! Gotta keep up with me. Not, it's not going to end well for any of us. Down. Right, I'm about halfway through my ammo, which is not great, but because uh, I don't know what else we have to do after the Atlantis show up. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, there's facility number two. Good work. Keep searching. There's still one more to go. I don't think that's blown up yet. There we go. Looks like Inferno are determined to get some payback for what we've done. Alright, so I want to meet him out here. Hopefully the uh, so there's those guys coming in. I think they, these guys dropped three max. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they dropped three max. Uh, so let's make sure.
sure we're all together here. That looked nice. I really want to go running into the city here because I know what's going to happen, so. There's one of them. Get uh, hit too hard by this guy. Jenner. All right, so this actually isn't too awful bad, but the bad thing is that's a Wolverine. So let's change it up here. Make sure this guy is uh, hit harder. There's one down. Alright, so we're not doing terribly. Not doing particularly great either, but uh, our quick draw is having some issues. But the uh, grasshopper is still doing really well. Take out these turrets here. I'm about to lose an arm, unfortunately. This is where it's going to be fun, so let's form up everybody. got here that's the assassin the panther right. right now let's take on the assassin or if I can just hit the broadside of a barn also would be kind of nice where is my grasshoppers behind me I don't know why he's not up there a little more there's the phoenix hawk right, let's just as they come in let's just take him out there's that heavy mech I don't know what that's a warhammer all right, well, well, we had a good run. I'm trying to take these guys out one at a time here. Come on. All right, uh, we, got, uh, we didn't even take the Phoenix Hawk out first. Uh, let's take him out, though. Gotta be getting close to dead.
take this guy out now. Oh, I've lost every weapon I have. All right, well, good luck, guys. Please take him out quick. All right, we've lost one mech. We lost our quick draw. We might have lost that pilot, too, which is not great. I don't know if we can win this one or not. I mean, his head's almost gone. Guys, keep fighting. Maybe if I run up here, keep him distracted. He's lost a PPC, so really he's got one big weapon left. If I can keep him distracted enough, maybe our, my lance mates can take him out. He's lost both, P both PPCs. Come on. I hate just sitting here watching, but uh, with the hunchback th looking this bad. Oh, thank. Yes. They took him out. Excellent work, Commander. I'm on my way. Prepare for exfil. We might have lost the pilot, though, unfortunately, but I am not going to do that mission again. That's, that's a little hard. <laughs> Okay, um, hopefully we get something decent out of it. Maybe we get that Warhammer. That Warhammer would be fun to have. But I think since it's a story mission, I don't quite think we get those mechs, unfortunately. But uh, it would be kind of cool to have one. I'm not a big fan of PPCs, but, you know, that thing is a really good long-range, um, long-range, um, uh, mech, like a sniper, um, so if you can, we probably I'd probably take like the machine guns off of it and just put more armor on it, and make sure it's stayed alive. Looks gross. Smells gross. It's just gross. <laughs> I think that they feel that the mission's still going on, even though we did end it. All right. Ooh, that hunchback does not. <gasps> You guys see this? That's uh, that's us getting a warhammer. <laughs> that's um, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, well that's. Wait a minute. Hold on. If we had enough salvage shares, we could have gotten two warhammers out of this mission. But I do want to take the cicada. I'm. Uh, let's see here. I've probably lost quite a few heat sinks. Oop, so I'll, I'll take one of those. No, we didn't lose. We didn't lose a pilot. I can fix mechs, and we got a new one. Ooh, all right. Well, yikes. Um, well, we survived. <laughs> it was kind of the big thing. But look, hold on. Wait for it. There it is. Oh, big beefy mech there. All right. Let's um, let's edit the loadout here. Uh, let's get these. I've lost the AC-20 I just bought. Um, oh, we. Uh, I don't think we can actually. Yeah, these are only one tons. We actually have pulse lasers now. So if you don't know what these are, um, these don't fire as long as medium lasers, but they they pulse. So like a machine gun for lasers. They do weigh a little bit more, and they do regenerate a lot more, or quite a bit more heat. Uh, but they do more damage. Um, so, I actually like pulse lasers, so... We will probably get that uh, on a mech somewhere. Centurion. Ooh, the Centurion has seen better days. So, SRM-6. Ooh, you know what we could do? Because they gave us an SRM-6 with Artemis. 
why couldn't we just slap that on there and then put the SRM4 Artemis ammo, ammo on there? Um, I guess it's 320 rounds. I'm pretty sure that's plenty for that mech. Um, and I don't have another AC-10 burst fire. But they have some at the uh, the store here, so let's go ahead and buy one real quick. Remove that one. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. So it's still on the store there. Uh, running. So there's that. The Artemis actually helps with uh, aiming, so it should uh, the cluster should be a lot smaller. You know what, though? Uh, let's not do this. Let's actually go to the star map first. Where is, number one, what do we need to do? Okay, we just need to increase our reputation again. Let's actually try to find an industrial hub nearby. Uh, looks like there's one up here. Um, let's set the course there. And... So, because this might cost us quite a bit of money to repair all these mechs, so let's, let's head up this way. And man, we we actually went from what two lights and two medes the medium at the beginning of the episode. Now we're looking at three heavies and a medium. That's pretty crazy. All right, so edit loadout. Let's get this guy rebuilt here. Uh, repair all. Get the S, you know, I have to redo all this, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, missiles, uh, SRM-6 with Artemis, uh, SRM Artemis ammo, uh, AC-10 burst fire, and that's all good. This all been repaired. This one will cost a 300% more. It's always cost us 700000 just to repair that mech. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm smart to go to an industrial hub. Lost two medium lasers there, so let's go ahead and get two medium lasers on here. Everything else is great. We'll start that. I'm just glad I didn't lose a pilot. That would have been the worst thing. Look at this grasshopper. It looked horrible, but didn't lose any weapons or anything like that. So we can start there. And the cicada will sell. Uh, but this is the one that we just got. This is a Warhammer. So let's take a look at it to show you guys what it has. Uh, so you got two PPCs, uh, two medium lasers, two small lasers, and an SRM-6. It's a pretty uh, pretty hefty uh, mech. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to be piloting this one. Uh, I think I'm going to switch from the Hunchback. I will probably give that to the guy who's piloting my Centurion. I probably will give it to him. Uh, maybe. I, I don't know how well he's, or how good he is with ballistics. But here's what I'm looking at here. So damage-wise, these do, let's see, 10. See what I'm saying? With two less tons, I can put a large laser on there. And at the market, let's see what, how much they have. A, they do have one large laser. So I'm thinking what I do is take those take those two off. Now, because these large lasers actually fire a little slower than the PPCs. They do lo less heat, but they have a little less range. About half the range of the PPC does. But also what I want to do is take off these small lasers here. I think, yeah, I can do this. So I actually want to put our pulse lasers in this Warhammer that we just got. Now it does take us over a little bit of tons, but I do want to take out the machine guns because I don't really like machine guns in my mech. Do something like that. Now, I could put the SRM-6 with the um, Artemis in here, um, but I think it's okay where it's at. Um, I think it's going to be useful over there. Um, so, we'll do something like this. Um, I'll keep the PPCs, I think, uh, for now at least. Uh, let's max the armor out, so we're at 70 tons of armor for this thing. Weapon group-wise, PPCs is going to be one, the, the pulse is going to be two, and this is going to get number three. Alrighty, I think... That might be my new uh, command mech, which should be, you know, it's a good mech. It's the first heavy one we're going to have in this one. And I think we need to figure out, we were actually switching over to Davion uh, paint schemes, weren't we? Let me take a look here. Let me see if maybe uh, FF6431. This one's going to be 3B0092. And this one was EEFF00. Look at that thing. All right, I think I'm going to switch over to uh, Davion paint schemes. 
for the rest of I think actually you know what that's actually what my mechs were supposed to be and I made them Applejack instead for the new ones at least all right paint mech hold on we gotta fix this there we go all right so now we should have all of our mechs uh, in the correct paint scheme look what's sitting here they have a Jaeger mech so you can see here, it's two AC5s, two AC2s, and two medium lasers. These are actually pretty decent mechs. Um, if you see here, you see the limited success of our riflemen. Uh, so they, they pretty much took the uh, riflemen and, and kind of took the riflemen apart and rebuilt one, and they became the Jaeger mech. Um, but I actually do have a cicada to sell. Where is that cicada? Let's sell that. Puts up just over nine million dollars. <sighs> Am I half tempted to just go buy a Jaeger mech and have four heavy mechs to uh, take out? I mean, yeah, I am. So now we actually have a full lance of heavy mechs, which I'll be honest with you, didn't expect this by now. But uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to keep all the mechs I have right now. It's going to cost us $400,000 every 60 days or 90 days or however long it is. But, that being said, um, I, I think we can afford it. I think we're, you know, we can easily make that money. Uh, but let's uh, get this thing fixed up. This AC5 ammo. lasers out here as well alrighty um hmm no AC2 ammo though I just realized that um be a good thing to have actually for some reason we are now overweight how in the world are we overweight with this thing? You know what? We want to reduce some armor on it. Not a whole lot. We lost 32 points, but that should give us enough firepower to really make that thing worth it. F6431. Here we take FF6431. Three B zero zero nine two and E E E F F zero zero. There we go. Apply that, and then I think we will wait just a little bit so that we can get our mechs all repaired at least. Now we have doing eight days. We have a uh, three hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars. I mean, we can actually sell those blackjacks to be honest with you, but I don't know what kind of weight limit wise what we're going to have. Uh, but I think we really, I mean, it's about 10 till, so we really don't have much time for another mission. But I kind of want to show you how big these mechs are getting. So this is our grasshopper. So that's the 70 ton mech we have now. We do have, this is the Jaeger mech that we just picked up, the 2AC5, the 2AC2s. Pretty big there. Uh, let's see here. Here's our quick draw. So this is the one we've had for a mission or two. Uh, so this is a pretty big, this is a lot of lasers and some of our missiles. And here's our new command mech. This is the Warhammer. Just to give you an idea of how big these mechs really are. Uh, so this is the new command mech we're going to be using. And I cannot wait to pull that thing out. Because I, I, you know, even though I'm not a huge fan of PPCs, I think this thing is going to be pretty devastating. Especially with the pulse lasers on it. Um, you know what? We have a couple of minutes. Let's run one mission. Because I want to pull all four of these out if I can. Uh, so let's go to star map here. It's a level 7 area, which is what we're doing. There's an assassination, and there's a raid. Let's do an assassination contract. Now, it would be unfortunate if we can't actually use all four of these um, yet. But uh, if we can, that'd be awesome. I know we're kind of losing the AC-20 right now, but, uh, you know, so we got clear the log jam, we have flash strike, and we have uh, dispossessional. 
since we're going with House Davion, I think we're going to do this. Uh, we'll just crank up the C-bill payout, so we're getting about 1.6 million out of it. Uh, currently, we are at our tonnage, uh, but um, so I don't think we'll be able to bring out every big mech we have. Uh, but I do want to bring out that one. Let's bring out. Let's see, the Grasshopper 70. Let's reduce it by 10 tons with that one. And Centurion, can we bring out the Hunchback with it? No, we're still 15 tons over. Um, you know what? Uh, we can't bring three Heavy Max out here. So, let's go over here and bring uh, one of the... What's one, what pilot? What's uh, what's this pilot good at? This one's good at the laser. So if we bring out that specialty blackjack there, we're at our tonnage right now. So two mediums, two heavies. Kind of show off the warhammer a little bit and show off the Jaeger mech because we've seen the uh, quick draw in action already. And then uh, what was the other one we had? Shoot, um, we've seen the grasshopper. So we can see the two new mechs out, and uh, so yeah, we can at least uh, get a taste for what. Uh, what some you know, what these two bigger mechs you know you give an idea of how big these things are and I, yeah, i've been meaning to look at some more pilots because we're getting to the point where we're max where these guys are almost maxed out on skills and with like the the pro uh, the person in the jaeger mech right now she's only got a four in uh ballistic or ballistic weapons period um and that that mech is pretty much solely based on um, uh, ballistic weapons, and none of them have really is got a, is really good with missiles. I mean, the second our second in command kind of guy is a seven, which is pretty good. Uh, but if we really want to have a missile boat pilot, we will need someone that has at least a ten in missiles, or at least a nine. I, I'd be okay with a nine, but I prefer a ten. Um, it's going to cost us quite a bit. I understand that, but uh, you know. All right, so new heavy max time. I didn't honestly when I wrote the title, um, I didn't think we would actually get a heavy max this game, and somehow we've gotten four just in this stream alone. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. I want to see the Warhammer. I've never piloted this mech before, so this will be a first for me as well. Reactor There's the online. Hunchback right across or right across there. Online. Weapon online. Ooh, that was cool to see both PPCs just pop up at once. All right. All right, I'm a little worried about something, so I'm gonna fire the PPCs off first. Yeah, we're already hitting 35 heat just firing the PPCs off, so got to be a little bit careful. And then also, let me show off the pulse lasers real quick. Uh, you couldn't see those at all. Uh, hold on one second. You see how they're real short, uh, but they're con they, they're fairly concentrated. Um, that prick is about to have a bad day. Um, the whole gang is here, Commander. Watch yourself. Um, the the uh, the pulse lasers are shorter, but they do more damage in a smaller time. So, all right, let's tank that guy. Let's uh, hunch back too. So. Alright, so uh, this guy, uh, let's get rid of this guy next. I think this guy doesn't really have much in the way of uh, punching power. I will hit him as hard as I can. If you were curious, last time we saw the screens go roll like fuzzy all of a sudden, it was because we were getting hit with a PPC, and we're getting hit in these guys with two of them. So. One overheat this thing. This thing's known for overheating though, which is not great, especially in close quarters like this. That's also the reason why we have a lot of armor on this thing, because we can take a beating in this thing. Yep, there it goes. So we've killed one mech already. Come on, start back up. 
push two of his lance mates down. Let's get this crab, guys. See how the Jaegermech does. I might have to switch over to chain fire with this uh, with this mech. Um, man, we've already lost. I think the Jaeger mech's taking a hit, so uh, we'll have to keep an eye on there. An AC twenty on there. All right, let's get out of here. Where is this extraction zone? I think it's on top of this hill, which is not great for us. because I'm about to lose one of my pilots and I don't know how to get out of here. There's a walkway up this way, I think. Alright, guys. You're just turrets. Watch this. We lost our Jaeger mech. I don't know how to get out of here. I think I can cross. Maybe. Nope, we can't cross there. Where in the heck can we go? Oh, I just dropped out behind one of my, my hunchback. Well, this isn't great. So I have no idea how we got out of here. I mean, that's just a sheer cliff right there. Maybe we have to go back where we were? I don't really... This is kind of confusing me here. I think we finally found a way up. So hopefully we, we only lost one pilot. If it's true, then if, if we lost the pilot, then I'm stuck. I will, I'll restart beforehand, but... Uh, Yeah, that was actually kind of fun to take the Warhammer out for its uh, first stroll. So, yeah, if we lost that pilot, I, I think uh, we might just call it, well, we're going to call it stream after this because we, we're almost at time. But, uh, yeah, I don't think, uh, if we lost the pilot, I'll, I, I'll, you know, I'll probably just redo the mission beforehand uh, so that we can still be, uh, still have that mission under our belt, but uh, we still have that pilot. Yeah, though, it, it was still fun. Um, I don't know if the PPCs quite have the same power as that AC-20 does, but, uh, you know, fair enough. It's, it, I think they're still worth, you know, having. Um, maybe not under my control exactly, but, you know, for right now, I think 
this is kind of the heavy I want to work with. So, can you get anything of value? Not really. Um, take one of those. AC 20 ammo we probably will need. Yeah, so yeah, we will be restarting this mission because for no reason that that Jaegermech Jager should there should there yeah, I'm trying to rephrase that. There's no reason that Jaegermech should have been uh should have been uh um should have been there, so hold on. Friars Fall is the one we're doing, correct? Yes. So it'll be probably this one we need to reload to. Let's double check real quick. Before I uh, before we quit, I want to make sure that uh, that was the right one. Cause it pretty, I know I'll just say it's pretty often, so I, I'm okay with it. But um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes here in a second here. Come on. All right, I don't quite think this was the right one. Maybe it is. Hold on. Yeah, this was the assassin. Okay, this is where we want to stop at then. Because uh, this will actually bring up our, let's see here, let's get in the right order. The Jaeger mech, then, or the, sorry, the Warhammer, Jaeger mech, Grasshopper. I think that might be a good fit for him. Could be wrong about that, though. Okay, there, there we go. So we have all four of our mechs now in the bay. They look pretty intimidating awesome at the same time um, so yeah let's save it here i'll just do a save a new save so we're at ash ashcomb and we know that that ashcomb is before that mission ever happened so like it never happened all right guys well, let me switch to the main camera here uh just to say guys oh, there goes the camera thanks guys for uh, joining me today guys i really did enjoy this we actually got a lot done today uh we got we only got one story mission done uh, but if you look at our lands before we started and after, we went from oh, a Centurion, a um, so what else do we have? Centurion, the um, Shadowhawk. So we had like two mediums, two lights. Now we have four heavy mechs that are pretty good at what they do. Um, they're not like ones that are throwaways by any means. So. Yeah, I think next week, uh, once we can find us some missions that we can put all four heavy mechs out there, it's going to be a fun, like a really fun time. Um, so hopefully you guys we can come back for that. But for today, I think we're going to call it a, a, a stream here. Um, so if you uh, if you guys like this, please, uh, the only thing we're looking for right now is a follow. So if you're more than happy to follow me on Twitch, that uh, we're trying to work our way to 50 followers. We're up to 19 right now, so not too bad at all. Uh, but we'd like to get to 50, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, please like and comment. That's always a great thing to see. Um, and I will be back on Tuesday, guys. We'll be actually back in a planet coaster playing some more of Thunder Lake. So uh, been really having some fun time. Been building a little bit off camera as well. So um, excited to show you guys that and start building on the next section of the park. Um, if you guys are new here, uh, this is actually something we do every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays, uh, right now is scheduled. We are playing Planet Coaster and some custom, uh, custom park that I've been working on for a little while now. On Thursdays, we play um, Stardew Valley, and we've been working our way through Season 2. We had just got into summer there, uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed kind of thing, uh, we will be uh, doing that for to the end of the year and then probably switch the games after that. And then on Fridays, we've been playing Mech Warrior quite a bit. And uh, we've been doing, actually, having a lot of fun with it. So, hope you guys can come back out for that. For that, uh, I'll see you guys. The next one will be on Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for some Planet Coaster, guys. Um, you guys have a great weekend and a great rest of your night. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye-bye for now.